Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to demonstrate um, briefly about Open API, a free online tool to uh, carry out different statistical and epidemiological calculations, uh, very useful for researchers. So first of all, let's go to openapi.com. So when you click on openapi.com, uh, on the left you will see a number of options uh, that can be used for epidemiological studies and researches. Um, if you see here, you can use the calculator, you can use, um, you can do calculus for 2 by 2 tables, um, so you can also do calculus for screening, similarly other epidemiological calculations, even sample size calculation. So let's uh, try some of the samples uh, from this tool. Another important benefit or advantage of this tool is that uh, it's um, compatible across uh, multiple platforms because it's based on web-based browser. Um, so if your web browser supports JavaScript and HTML, this will be compatible in Windows, Mac, Linux, as well as other platforms. So um, let's try sample size calculation for now. So when I click on sample size and let's click on proportion, then it will generate a window in which um, you can see the examples. Also, there is option to enter the new data. So when you when I click on enter new data, then it asks for population size. So if the population size is very large, then um, it's, um, it uh, it does the approximation of infinite population, but but if it's small, let's say uh, one thousand, and then um, so you know in sample size calculation, so you need the anticipated prevalence or frequency. Let's say if the prevalence is fifty percent, um, so if it's uh, unknown, then we use a fifty percent. Similarly, the confidence uh, interval, let's say if it's a ninety five percent, then uh, is uh, 5 uh, so here we put 5 and then for design effect for simple um, surveys um, we just put 1 if for, for multiple uh, let's say multi-stage cluster sampling we put uh, more than 1 so I think you might have already heard about the design effect in your research classes but the aim of this video is just to demonstrate to you um, demonstrate about the use of open API software for a variety of purposes including our sample size calculation so if I click on calculate it displays the sample size so here 278 is the sample size when the confidence level is 95 percent so when we keep on changing the confidence levels then the sample size also keeps on changing similarly let's try some other uh, examples let's say let's try uh, the screening okay so, so you might have already heard about um, the different uh, calculations that we um, uh, perform in screening uh, of a test such as sensitivity specificity predictive value positive predictive value negative so mostly in the epidemiological calculations we, we do that so let's enter the new data <coughs> so here it asks for um, how many outcomes okay so let's say there are two outcomes, the positive and neg negative outcome. And then when you click on OK, then it asks for uh, entering the data. Uh, let's say, let's enter the random data. OK, 90, um, 10, um, similarly, um, 5, let's say, um, 99. And then when you click on calculate, uh, it calculates the sensitivity uh, specificity you know, positive predictive value negative predictive value and other different parameters along with the 95 percent confidence intervals so this this tool is very much useful guys okay um, so you can also calculate the uh, uh, different uh, percent time rates and also you can do the dose response relationship uh, you can simply use um, this tool uh, also for other uh, statistical calculations uh, for the continuous variable for example let's talk about the uh, t-test so when you, when you click on t-test and then when you enter the data uh, let's say the confidence interval is uh, 95 percent so, so you know your, your uh, t-test is used for comparing the 
mean across two groups let's say the sample size of a group is um, 100 the sample size of another group uh, let's say is uh, 200 so for example these are the means and these are the standard deviations so when you click on calculate um, just gives you immediately the the outcome okay the t statistic and the p values and the the mean difference and and the lower and upper levers the, the 95 percent conference intervals so this is really really useful guys okay so okay another important thing is that when you want to use this tool open api you don't even need the internet if you if you download the complete package okay so when you download this package then you'll be able to run this tool in any of the web browsers that support javascript and html so when you have to uh, uh, give the reference of this tool when you're uh, i mean when you're using this tool in your research paper and when you want to cite this tool or this uh, um this the software uh, web web based or the browser based software then you can go to home okay so there is the suggested citation so the name of the authors and name of the tool and uh, when it was created and when did you uh, as, uh, access this uh, tool so this is the data asset so today is 8th of uh, August 2019 so th this this is the day so this this keeps on changing guys okay so you have to look at the specific reference here okay if there is a new version then this date will be changed so this is it this is the summary of the tool you can uh, you can try this tool uh, in your own computer or in your own mobile device or in uh, so you can try it in a smartphone browser it works well I, I've tried okay so even uh, it's in other languages as well so uh, this is the demo uh, hope you like it uh, please um, share this video and give your useful comments and also please subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye